It's time now for our interview segment with NAU TV's Mitch Stroman. Thanks so much, Teresa. Joining us on Inside NAU is Joe Martin, who is a special advisor to the president's office at Northern Arizona University. Joe, it's a pleasure to meet you and to join Inside NAU. Thanks for joining us. Likewise, thank you. Big, big thing happening for Northern Arizona University. This is the, the culmination of an awful lot of work by a lot of people and the, the realization of a longtime vision at NAU, and that is the, the Native American Cultural Center. Talk about what that is and why is that such an important thing for Northern Arizona University? Well, I think that uh, the fact that as you, as you uh, put it, it's been in the planning since uh, 1998, and that's a long time. And uh, this project actually grew out of uh, interest expressed by tribal leaders, more importantly by students on campus, some of the other uh, families that we uh, keep in contact with in terms of uh, alumni, uh, other supporters of uh, not just the Indian students on campus, but NAU in general. And uh, a lot of tribes from throughout the country that just express an interest and support for the concept. So as you can see, it's been, it's been in the planning stage for some time. I think the uh, event is going to be uh, monumental in the sense that uh, it's uh, very few of its kind nationwide. There's very few institutions that have similar kinds of cultural center. But the, the bulk of it, I think, is that uh, the impact on students, the impact on tribal communities in the area as well as across the country. What that means in terms of uh, NAU uh, in relation to goal six, to become a leading institution in terms of serving Indian students uh, on campus, academic services, as well as uh, other kinds of services that they provide to tribes, to other Indian groups for development. So I think that that has a major impact and the potential of it is, is just outstanding. Joe, the entire state of Arizona, throughout in, in the entire Southwest, but specifically Northern Arizona, owes a lot of its of its culture, its, its tradition, and, and the fabric of what Arizona is to Native American life and cultures. Right. And Northern Arizona University arguably is right in the center of, mm -hmm. a, of, an, of an outreach to young Native American students to enrich their lives through higher education. Talk about that long time commitment and relationship, this institution, and Native American peoples? Well, first of all, I think as you, as you put that, uh, NAU is uniquely situated that we're right in the, mid the middle of some of the largest Indian tribes in the country, um, namely Navajo, Hopi, Wallapai to the uh, west, the White Mountain Apache, and we get a lot of students from the San Carlos Apache and some of the uh, Colorado River tribes and from some of the uh, tribes in the valley. So we are situated right almost smack in the middle of having access to a lot of potential students that uh, want to come to NAU. At the same time, I think that uh, being a resource, NAU being a resource in many, many different areas. Uh, just for example, um, the Institute for um, Tribal Environmental uh, Professionals, the uh, CAIAT, the Center for American Indian Economic Development, the Applied Indigenous Studies all have their hands in some of the most important issues that are facing tribes. Economic development, uh, energy, uh, renewable energy development, uh, studies about uh, diversity, other kinds of policy, policy issues that impact tribes and Indian people in general. All of these represent uh, an area that NAU has participation, has direct involvement in to help tribes figure out how best to uh, deal with these issues that they confront on a daily basis that eventually impact uh, tribal peoples making uh, decisions about their economic lives, about educational pursuits, and so on. You know, Joe, your, your answer to that question triggers a question in me. You talked about the unique situation that Northern Arizona has in terms mm -hmm. of where it's located. We go back to the first thing I asked you about, the Native American Cultural Center. How unique is that facility? How unique is that 
in terms of, of similar types of, of facilities across the country at the university level? Well, I think a mechanism for, for even more support, a mechanism for support for not just the Indian students on campus, but uh, I think the entire NAU family mm -hmm. to learn about the culture, to, to, to learn about uh, different aspects about leadership, ideas about uh, how to live together in a community, uh, the other kinds of support and contributions that the American Indian P tribes have had in this, in this uh, state's development. Uh, I often hear the governor talking about economic pursuits. I think that this center has a potential to help spark some conversations, some real key conversations about what some of these issues and solutions for some of these things. You know, energy development I mentioned a little earlier. Can you give us a quick snapshot, Joe, of what the Center for Native American Economic Development is? It's a uh, resource that helps tribe with their economic plans in terms of technical assistance, either in planning, development, helping to frame partnerships, and other kinds of training that they do. Perhaps no relationship that NAU has is probably more deeply rooted in tradition and its history and is more a powerful thing than NAU's relationship with Native American peoples. Joe, it has been a treat talking with you on Inside NAU. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you.